Hello and welcome everyone to our second episode of a Crusader Kings 2 sort of just tutorial playthrough where we play through the tutorial. We have our tutorial scenario as the King of Lyon, uh, or Lyon, or Lyon, and we are learning about things. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Nuno, has improved significantly. Excellent. Who is uh, Nuno Al Alfon Al Alfonses? He is a commander of Lyon and he my uncle. Uh, good. Excellent. Alright, so he has a... Uh, I will gain five prestige. And Nuno will either gain two martial or three. Looks like he gained two. Not bad at all. Alright, good. Although you... Do you have a valid heir of your dynasty, your brother? Having children of your own will ensure that there is a next generation of successors. Besides, your brother might die before you do. As soon as you have a son, he will be your new heir. To produce legitimate children, you need to get married. The arranged marriage view found by clicking on your portrait is a good tool for finding suitable spouses. It's the button with the two gold rings. You can also use the character browser in the bottom right corner of the screen to find more characters. Got it. Alright, yeah, let's arrange a marriage. I think we were le learning about... Oh, wow, well, yeah. Sway, antagonize, go to location, follow special interest. Characters of special interest are listed in the outliner and have their own message settings. Oh, yes. Cuckoo, cuckoo. All right, but let's try to find a marriage. Let's see, ooh, the tooltip. Oh wait, uh, but let's look at diplomacy again, I guess. Um, this view lists all of the actions you can take towards another character. Note that, unless a character is a ruler, it is usually their liege who actually responds to your proposals. When you have sent a proposal to a character, it will take some time to respond. However, you can see their likely answer, with their reasoning, even before you send your proposal. In the tooltip for the target's acceptance, if the number of green plus signs exceeds the number of red minus signs, the proposal will be accepted. Oh, nice. Okay, so we can, indi we can disable the individual hint. Uh, if we see one too many times, I'm like, okay, we've seen this a thousand times. That's good to know. Like this one. Are we each other's heirs? Well, that's nice. We are very... That's that's brotherly love right there. That we are each other's heirs. Very nice. Alright, but uh, let's, so anyway, uh, so yeah, we can arrange marriages, arrange betrothals, assign guardians, offer to join wards, form alliances, plot, do a lot of other stuff. Awesome. There's a lot of scribbling going on in the background. A lot of, like, it, the sound effects are just longer in this game than other Paradox games, so I'm like, okay, like, are you, have you finished read, writing that novel? Hammering out that horseshoe? But I like this whole thing, swaying or antagonizing. That's nice. Threat is the measure of how fear the realm is. All right, cool. So let's try to arrange a marriage. We're probably gonna want someone who is our same religion. Ooh, Countess In Ingeborg wants to acquire more land and another title, increasing her influence and power in the realm. She is the Countess of Good Brand Dalton. That seems pretty far away. Alright, let's uh Alright, these could be good um Ooh. The Princess of Hungary would result in a non aggression pact with the Prince Apad Laszlo of Hungary. And King Sancho of Aragon, ooh. Princess of Aragon. My cousin. Yeah. Uh, she's content, she's brave, she's temperate, she's proud. Underhanded rogue. 
Oh, nice. Is rough, but decently effective diplomat. Increases her fertility. Wow. Um, how old is she? She's 19 years old. I am 26. So she's seven years younger than me. She is my cousin. Uh, let's try to maybe not have someone who is our relative. But if we... Well, actually... Let's learn more about her. So her siblings are King Sancho of Aragon, which means her grand, her parent, King Romero, is the brother of our father, King Fernando. Not King, yeah, King Fernando. Yes. All right. Let's look in the family tree. Not round tree. Because this, uh, uh, or not, dynasty tree. There we go. Alright, so. Is that her? No, that's my sister. Oh, that's me. Okay, uh, is. Oh my god, we have so many people. I'm thinking. There we go. Alright, Princess Erika. So, like, currently King Sancho, 24 years old, doesn't have a... Uh, doesn't have an heir. Or, I mean, he might, but... Uh... Oh, no, no, yeah, his heir could become my wife! My wife! Uh, this could, uh, this could be a good, uh, a good... A, uh, a good choice, a good marriage. Keeping, like, there's a lot of territory around. Alright, so let's definitely try to... Have, yeah, so there we go. We would, uh, just a base reluctance. I mean, yeah, we are cousins. <laughs> God! <laughs> like, less than an hour into the playthrough. And we already have people marrying in the family. But I think that's going to be the best option. We can look at other options. Let's let's look at other options. Because I'm, I, I'm really thinking... Like, she wants to be married. But we've got... Uh, Maria, Princess of Hungary. Ooh, wait, France. Um, no, oh, but she's a courtier. County, alright, where's that? Just trying to think of what can we do to solidify more power, not what is going to stabilize the genome. Maria, Princess of Hungary. The Duchy of Transylvania. All right, let's look at the realm tree for Hungary. Plans, 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 plans. Jeez, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a large realm tree. All right, let's uh, let's wait. Let's not do too crazy things until we get uh, deeper into the into the playthrough. Now, I feel like we understand the character view. So, like, clicking on any portrait will take you to the character view. The screen contains detailed information. You can see the, uh... Dynasty of the character shown on the top right, where we can see the family tree, the realm tree, the house, the religion, the governmental system. And then we can see, like, if we are... if it's us, if it's our heir, and if they are related to us. Sancho is of your dynasty. Is he my uncle? My cousin? Wait, if he's my cousin... Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, yeah. They're all that same generation. Cuckoo-coo. But he does have a wife, but no children. It would be a shame if something were to happen to Sancho and Isabel. Okay. Alright. Uh, 
So yeah, let's marry our cousin. Arrange a marriage. Alright. Propose that King Alfonso IV and Princess Iraka get married. As a king, Alfonso would gain 64 prestige from marrying into House Yemena, and zero from marrying the relative of a king. Alright, we'll see if they accept. Did I hit the propose button? Did I hit yes? I think I hit yes. Alright. When looking at a potential spouse, there are a few things you should keep in mind. Uh-oh, I forgot. I guess we should have let... Oh, uh, dear. First, your spouse's attributes. I did... Ah, I forgot about that. Oh, man. Wow. Just too prepared to engage in... Powerful mask. The sister. I'm not marrying my sister, am I? No, no, no. She just has the same name. <laughs> That's not messed up at all. Alright, let's, uh, there you go. She's the second to youngest daughter of, of, of Romero, who is my uncle. I think the broken branch just means we don't have to worry about them inheriting. No, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the broken branch means. Let's find out. Oh, a bastard child. Wow. Lineage, other... Parent in lineage. Interesting. Oh, what a complicated tree. Oh, good. Good thing we can zoom out. Yeah, dude. Alright. Well. Geez, this is a large family. Alright, I forgot to look at her stats. So let's... So yeah, they were a bastard of your dynasty. Oh, she does not have good stats. Crap. Can I call off the wedding? Currently considering another offer. Yeah, darn it. No, don't marry me. All right. Um, first, your spouse's attributes will boost your own. So a uh, skipped... A skilled spouse is preferable. Secondly, marriages are the only way to secure alliances in the game. Oh, the only way. Interesting. So try to marry into a close family of rulers you want to ally. Third, you cannot marry children, but you can betroth them. Though that will not yield any attribute boost. Right now, it would be wise to marry a healthy adult woman of childbearing age. Childbearing crackers. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, thank goodness. Dear cousin, peace be with you. We propose that Princess Erika of Aragon and King Alfonso IV of Leon marry matrilinearly. Oh, that... We don't want that. Thank goodness. This will avoid any entanglements. It makes sense because King Sancho, that is his heir. And he doesn't want her to marry me to get his territory away. But yeah, I can't just have all my children count as... Like, they'd still be the same family, but they'd just be her branch, containing the branch instead of me in real life. What a proposition. But no, it must decline, which is good. It means we can seek other... Yeah, we can start arranging marriage between us and people who are more eligible. Alright, let's look at what our skills. We lack in stewardship and learning. So let's maybe try and find someone who's really good at learning. Ooh, Asatan. Ooh, Asatan. She's a courtier. Ida, the courtier of Fares. The county of Fares. But look at that learning. Alright, we also want stewardship. Ooh, okay, the princess of Hungary. She is Midas touched. She's er erudite. Scholarly and bookish disposition. She's just. justly cruel? This character has a well developed sense of justice. 
A trait much respected by vassals and courtier, but is an evil sadist, taking pleasure in the suffering of others. Hmm. But she's charitable. I don't know. Okay. She, but she's charitable. She's charitable with her cruelty, giving it out freely and justly. In book to books, she hits with the books, I guess. But you are you. It's you deserve it. So you'll get Stockholm syndrome if you marry her. Um. Five learn. She's pretty good with the the intrigue. So our intrigue is just out of the off the rocks, off the charts or whatever. Uh, Denise Cortier Powies, Welsh. Hmm, I don't know. That's uh. How old are you? Sixteen. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Hmm. Combat modifier. Alright, well. Also, we should probably look at opinions, like who likes us. Hey! Hey! What's the deal? Alright, this would. Count Baudu Baudouin of Giens. I'm not sure where that is, but. Uh, Giens. Alright, that looks like it's. Somewhere. Not, nothing too big, I guess. But it looks like uh, Bea, Beatrice. She's 19. Oh, hair lip. This character was born with a hair lip. A less than charming trait. She is a fortune builder. Diligent. Cynical. Deceitful. Temperate. Okay, what about... Ooh, diplomacy. Good. That's a really nice stewardship level, though, for Adelheid, Princess of Hungary. So let's see if we can't... Can't. Oh, yes we can. Alright, so... Result in a non-aggression pact with Hungary. Just Prince Arpad Geza, which I guess we don't have to re worry about. Hungary is really far away. And what is her family tree? Or dynasty? Tree. Oh no, she went away. All right, uh, dynasty there. House Arpad. All right, so she is well down the line. Yet yeah, Prince, who's the king of Hungary? Please, King Arpad Salaman of Ah. Ah, oh, within this. Okay, with this line. Alright, so then she is Adelheid. Alright, so she's just part of the main family in Hungary. But she's far away, so like we're not going to be inheriting Hungary anytime soon. We don't need to worry about that. I, th I, I think, I hope. Alright, uh, so yeah, let's... Uh, Let's try to marry her. Alright. So we'll try and bring people into the country instead of marrying our cousins to try and murder our other cousins. Arrange marriage. When you have found a good character to marry, right click on their portrait to open the diplomacy menu. Here you may ask a liege, the liege of your intended, about the possibilities of arranging a marriage. Uh, if only marriage was so simple in this day and age. Oh gosh, that'd be hor horrible. Who is your liege? Why? I need to uh, seek, talk to him about the in the intentions, about a possibility of arranging a marriage. I'm right-clicking on you, can't you tell? All right, uh, let's see. Go ahead and arrange the marriage. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, maybe we should actually be following the tutorial. Hey! Dear co All right, uh, Sancho is feeling good. Oh, no. What? Uh oh. Did I just ask two people to marry me then? Darn it. Alright, uh, so apparently the first marriage proposal wasn't rejected. And we are married to our cousin. Dear cousins, blessings upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that King Alfonso the Fourth, the Sixth, Princess Irika get married. Okay. Uh, Princess Irika and King Alfonso are getting married. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. 
or get a bunch of prestige. Uh, I, I'm gonna go for the wealth, I guess. I'm not sure. This might be a mistake. Yeah, I think we, yeah, we totally asked two people to marry us at the same time. Whoops. Being like, oh, I shouldn't marry my cousin, and then I sent out a different letter, and then got a different letter, and uh, so. So we married her cousin. She doesn't have the best, She uh, she's okay with diplomacy, I guess. Spouse plus five. And, you know. Not the worst, I suppose. Not the best. Ooh, we can have ambitions and focuses. So she... No. What? Not. Oh. See, Eurekaramir is dead. Oh, that'd be bad. That's a, whoa. That'd be powerful, though. All right, let's uh, look at Ramirez, though. Intrigue focus. That's not good. All right. Uh... King Alfonso VI has decided it is time for King Sancho to depart this world. King Alfonso and his backers will look for opportunities to kill King Sancho. The higher the plot power, the more likely they are to find openings. Alright. So this is in our intrigue. We haven't even looked at these buttons. Alright, this is the intrigue view. This screen allows you to start a plot. There are also various other decisions you can take here. Finally, there are convenient lists of known plots and rebellious vassals, as well as your current prisoners. The decisions available to you depend on the number of factors, such as your character's religion. There are many different decisions that cover everything from inviting new nobles to holding grand tournaments. Plots are a shady but effective way of achieving less innocuous goals. Unlike ambitions, plots require backers, co-conspirators, to succeed. The progress of a plot is measured by its power, representing the collective influence of the position of the plotters. Your spymaster will discover plots depending on his intrigue skill, unless he himself is in on it. Once you know of a plot, you can try to convince the plotter to end his or her scheming, or you can resort, resort to other measures. Oh, we should have like tried to kill his spymaster before trying to kill him or something. Alright, good. So, invite potentially useful characters to your plot. Can I sort by people who'd want to say yes? Never mind, no one wants to say yes. Might be persuaded for a bit of gold. The queen herself! Sancho, Stuart, your, our other cousin. Good God. Oh man, he's a bastard. Right plot. It's a no, but we could send a gift of gold. All right. So we'll see if our other cousins. Oh my gosh. Okay, so just a bunch of cousins killing each other. This season on succession. Congratulations on your marriage. While Alfonso is busy trying to get Erika out. Or Erika? Erika? With child. You may want to select a new family-oriented ambition. Alright, let's learn about ambitions while we're plotting to kill our, our cousin, the king of another country. As one do. If we can just slowly pick people off and start uniting the north, it could be good. Alright, so we can have a ambition. Create a treasury. Make a friend. Uh, become exalted among men. Oh, wow, that's a crazy ambition. See the realm prosper. King Alfonso wants to see his realm prosper, prosper by staying at peace for five years. While Pon Alfonso's realm is attacked or he goes to war, this ambition will fail. Can't be taken for another five years. While the amb ambition is active, global revolt risk is reduced by 1%. Ooh, interesting. Uh, you know what? Sh well... Ooh, build a war chest, groom an heir. 
Wants to have a child and see them reach adulthood. Let's let's do that one. All right. While active, fertility is increased by 20%, and once your child reaches 12 years, you may choose to right-click their portrait and choose to introduce heir to realm. All right, that's good. Groom and heir? Yes. And then I can focus on things. I think intrigue. Seduction. Sex appeal plus 10. Fertility plus 25. Um, how... Can I change focuses? I'm not sure. Let's let's do intrigue for now. Let's see. King Alfonso the Sixth seeks to become a better schemer, spending most of his time engrossed in court intrigue. His focus unlocks the spy on and free from captivity options versus suitable targets. Will not be able to change focus again for five years. All right. Good. Excellent. Oops. Alright, so the plot power is 43%. But into an O now it's 51.7. Alright, a plot gains strength by having more powerful backers. Higher plot power will unlock more special plot decisions and events. Having your spy master build spy networks at your plot target location will further increase your plot power. Alright, so we'll put that aside and definitely start doing that. Who are... Ah, oh, that'd be my council. Alright, we haven't gotten that far yet. Alright, your realm consists of a number of counties, the provinces on the map. Each county contains at least one holding. Castle, city, temple. By clicking on a county, you can see, among other things, its holdings. The holdings held by you personally are collectively called your domain. Unfortunately, there is a limit to how many holdings you can directly control. This value is shown on the top bar. If you have more holdings than your limit, you will start to suffer serious penalties. Alright. Well, that's good. We got a, we have a plot going. The domain limit is the reason you need vassals. You can control more holdings than your domain limit allows indirectly through your vassals. Your vassals will give a part of their troop levies and taxes to you. There is a limit to how many vassals you can have as well, which is why you might want to have fewer but more powerful vassals. Vassals can also have vassals and so on. Vassals of the lowest rank below count, with a copper portrait frame, are not counted towards the vassal limit. Got it. So you can just... Okay, so that's good to know. Dear cousin... Blessings upon you and your house, which is also my house. An intriguing scheme. I believe I will indeed back your plot to kill my own brother. <laughs> How nice. Who is also your cousin. Who is... you're married to his sister. Who is also my sister? Probably. Dear God, are we just... Uh, 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 let's see, he is... Yes. <laughs> So we've enlisted our wife's our wife's brother, our, who, our wife is our cousin, we have our other cousin who is her brother, to help kill her other brother, who is the king, because she is his heir, so that we can get some land in the east. Uh, keeping it in the family. Alright, you need to keep your vassals happy, because their opinion of you controls how much tax and levies they will give you. If they dislike you enough, they might even join rebellious factions, which can lead to civil wars. Bishops, privately vassals, priestly vassals, sorry, <laughs> who like the Pope, more than you will actually send their taxes to him instead. Opin opinions are represented by a number ranging from negative 100 unto 100. And you can see exactly why they feel the way they do by hovering over the number. Yeah, how's this guy? He probably likes me. Yes. State diplomacy, free investiture, Goblin succession, same dynasty. We're friends if we weren't going to murder each other. You currently have one happy, unhappy vassal. Uh oh. You can find this vassal by clicking on your portrait and open the vassal tab. Ah, uh, Diego. Alright. Try to increase the opinion of this vassal to a positive number can increase the opinion of our vassals in several ways. For example, by giving them more land. 
But do try to hold as much land as your demise, demise, your domain limit allows. You know that it's a French word because it, it's not pronounced the way it's spelled. And some of the letters aren't even pronounced at all. You can also give them an honorary title or send them a gift. All of this can be done in the diplomacy menu. Alright, let's definitely sway him. While swaying another character, you will be presented with opportunities to increase their opinion of you. These opportunities can present themselves in many ways. Outcomes often being decided by how capable, compatible you are with the character you are swaying. You can only sway one character at a time. Alright, so he's craven, lustful, wrath, charitable, and tough soldier. We don't have a lot in common. We'll try and sway him either, either. anyway. Leash is crowned by poke, poke, the poke. We are both crowned by the poke. Thus, we have so much in common. Why do I hear chickens? Also, is it just me or did the music get really quiet? Here we go. I guess this is an older... Oh, oh there it is. Let me just s select to the next song. Can we... Open up more. Uh, oh, we paused the game again accidentally. There we go. Alright, so we've got our schemes going. Oh, I disabled this hinge. All right, good. Now we'll learn more about the from the tutorial. Ooh, our plot power is growing. Let's kill King Sancho of Aragon. Excellent. Known plots, threats. There are no threats here. Hold a grant. Oh, we all, this is also where decisions are held. You have a lot of decisions. I can borrow up to 300 gold from Jewish merchants and moneylenders living in the realm. With the interest agreed upon, I will owe them 350 to be paid back at my convenience. Oh, how nice. Search for a smith. Forge for you by indulgences from our sins. Expel Jewish people. That would not be nice. Hold a summer fair. Hey, fate smiles upon me. My wife, who's also my cousin, is pregnant. While I try to murder her brother. I mean, that's the face I would have if I were in his situation. But I also disabled this. Oh, maybe it resets every time a uh, tutorial thing pops up. So, so I'm going down up here. Why? That guy looks like uh, one of the developers from Paradise. I wonder if that was intentional. Alright, we'll speed things up to speed two. Alright, let's start lurking at things. First, we'll start with our council. Alright, the council view. Every ruler has a council to help administer the realm. Each of the five positions on the council has a primary attribute. Diplomacy, martial, stewardship, intrigue, and learning. Ooh! Diego bought a favor from Suero. Court check. Does Diego like me? Oh, that's right. We're trying to make him like me. Well, it looks like it's uh, maybe working. He was fired from the council, apparently. How was he fired from the council years from now? No, maybe that's when that will disappear. I don't know. Called in a favor. So you give him a favor, called in a favor. Alright, well, let's uh, try to make him... Let's award him an honorary title then. Maybe it's every time I go into the... No? That's weird. Alright. Sometimes they come back. Alright, Diego. I want you to be the court jester. No, that's... Um... Ooh, who doesn't love swan? You know what? With swan meat being without a doubt the finest meat available, 
from either beast or fowl, the need to ensure a steady supply of swans is important. Host of Master of Swans carries a certain amount of prestige. That's going to be you, Diego. Diego, Keeper of Swans. Hopefully he'll accept. Count Diego has become the master of swans. Is that not helping him? Short reign. Ah, oh, man. We just got another negative. Nope, there we go. Alright, so it's only negative three. That's good. Okay, what, what can I give you? I'm trying to sway you. But that'll probably take time. You can just buy your favor. That's expensive. I don't want to buy your favor. Just, I could kill him. Dead people can't dislike him. <laughs> Let's maybe just send him a gift. Oh, that's also expensive. Alright, let's, uh, uh, let's award another honorary title. Oh, well, no, no, that would be... That's a too important position. This would, I don't want him to be the regent. He's not a good, very good person. But I also want him to like me. Ooh, we could arrange a betrothal between these people, maybe. I have no idea who we're trying to marry, but I'm hoping it'll make him like me more. Please like me. In your wisdom and mercy, our legendary, I've decided to accept your suggestion. So, Rodrigo Diaz is marrying Blanca, my courtier. He's the heir to the county. Oh, is this your son? Do you have a child? Yes. Cool. Do you like me more? <laughs> no. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance that is affecting her mood. Let's see, I will buy her something nice. Nice. She'll be comforted by the kind gesture. It will increase her health. What's her health at? Is her health in jeopardy? I know. Oh god, there's so many, uh... So many numbers. Pregnancy resting. Okay, her health gets better. Uh, so as far as I can tell, and she's pregnant. Personal combat skill. Yeah, pregnant women, not famous for their martial prowess. Uh, but uh, you never know. It could happen. Alright, uh, I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, fine, we'll buy you something nice. Uh, there's a 15% chance that we will become charitable. 5% chance that we will become kind. And it will be a kind gesture. She'll be comforted by the kind gesture. Treating people nicely feels good. I've gained the kind trait. How nice. Except for it hurts my intrigue. Darn. Uh oh. I bet this is just hopefully part of the... Oops. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, definitely part of the... Uh, Tutorial. All right, so Gonzola of Salamanca has instituted a peasant revolt. We'll have to find out in the next episode how that goes. Uh, it is a slower start. It's not the fastest playthrough that we've ever had in the world, but that's just because it is literally going through the tutorial, trying to just catch up on all the new DLC and all the existing rules and stuff this game. And so uh, this concludes episode two.